What is going on YouTube? Jimmy Houser and welcome back to the House Strong YouTube channel. So today we got the American Pro YouTube video to present to you guys now. If you guys know me, which you probably don't, but you might, this is my first time competing in the sport of powerlifting officially in five years. So basically, long story short, I have a good friend by the name of Michael Marino that runs this event. He's based out of Las Vegas. He saw my Instagram numbers and he was very kind to allow me to qualify for this meet, knowing that I should be just about strong enough to compete in the 198 drug test division. Oh, he said drug tested. Oh, not natty, blah, 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 whatever. But as you can see here in this bottle, I have spit that I'm gonna use to not only present to the drug tester, but to also make weight. This morning, we actually went to Gold Gym and I was about three and a half, four pounds over. When I left to go to Washington DC, which is about an hour and away, I was about one and a half pounds over. So as we walk, burn a little bit of calories, maybe get a brisk sweat. I am also simultaneously spitting in this water bottle with gum. This is not the way to lose fat. This is not the way to healthily lose weight. This is the way that you can use, it's actually a very, uh, let's call it ignorant, or even better yet, barbaric way to make weight. But with it being so close and me not being able to use the sauna while I wanted to see Washington DC, my aunt actually lives out here. I wanted to find a way to simultaneously enjoy the environment and also drop those pounds, baby. Anyways, you guys stay tuned. We'll get a little bit of footage at the weigh-ins, and then we're gonna cut straight to the competition. I don't really know what to expect. All I know is I'm gonna be around a lot of people that care about powerlifting a lot more than me. You guys stay tuned. Hello, everyone. So we fired our cameraman, Matt. <laughs> He's currently in timeout right now. Going to zoom in on him. I don't know why I'm in timeout. I'm here. When I was looking for a cameraman, I had Ask Matt, I'm like, look, if you're the guy, you're the guy. But if you know any friends that are better than you at these jobs that I need done, do you know anyone? He's like, nope, no, none of my friends, none of my friends at all whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, Alex takes the camera and he's just on it. I have nothing to say, actually. You know, I'm, I've been doing really well with all the film work and all the videos on the YouTube channel that you can find at Jimmy House. <laughs> Long story short, I had weighed in at 196, which is good because a couple of days ago I weighed 204. So then we went to go eat at a specific restaurant, will not name, I'm not a food critic review channel, but we went to eat at a restaurant. My stomach did not necessarily sit super well with it. So I went home immediately, missed Korean barbecue, and fell asleep for about an hour and a half. Then we came back, and then Alex's family was nice enough, specifically his mom and his beautiful wife, were nice enough to cook up all these pancakes, which now I'm gonna try to digest. And I'm assuming, based upon how flawless they look, these will probably sit better in my stomach than whatever else I decided to eat before. So this is my second meal of my refeed back up to hopefully like 205 pounds. fucking fat in 260 anymore because I didn't have to warm up for shit for that first squat. I would have had to taken like 30 minutes in the past. Five years ago, when I last competed, that would have taken, that would have blew out my ACL, my tree CL, my 3CL, all the CLs, bro. dancing and everything it's just very relaxed no big going deal. into it you don't strike me as a hype lifter Forty-two and a half kilos, making a ten-kilo jump, and kicking off the second round of attempts here in the second prime time flight on the first day. Oh, solid! That looked like a 
legitimate textbook sucking ones up. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Light weight, baby. Yeah. Showtime. Harry, welcome to the game. Jimmy House on the platform now. 10 kilos across the board, 20 kilo total ascension from opener to third. This is 252, 556 pounds. Got it. Got it. Yeah, he knew it too. Yeah. He knew it too. Three whites, undoubtedly. I'd be surprised for a two to one call here. Oh, lifting cast is doing the thing. Yeah, there we go. Three white lights. All right, guys, so we just finished squats. I went three for three. I finished with 556. Guys, don't follow me on Instagram. The news of the day is that I actually popped my knee a little bit. The one that I recently injured earlier this year, last week in jujitsu. It wasn't a bad pop by any means. It was a little bit of a pop right where my MCL is. I knew it wasn't going to be super serious in regards to like a whole like ligament tear, but it definitely did put me out for a couple days. I was very much questioning whether or not I'd be able to do this meet. Went through my normal ATG protocol called the normal knee rehab exercises that you can see on the channel itself. Lo and behold, I was able to bring myself back to the meet a little over a week later and hit 556. And honestly, I'm pretty happy about it considering that basically had that not happened, I probably would have been shooting for something like 570 to 575. So the majority of the strength stayed despite the knee injury. I was more so worried about my ability to just handle the load, but it went fine. And overall, I'm feeling pretty calm, cool, and collected. I'm not really taking this meet too seriously. Don't let the other lifters hear that. Uh, but I'm not really taking this meet too seriously simply because mine is in a million different places at once, right? I'm just very thankful and blessed to be here. There are lifters here that are just so far more technical, strong, and talented than I am. So to even be in this town pool during their prime time showing is an honor in itself on the drug test today. Yeah, I'm actually getting drug tested after this, so. <laughs> Anyways, we're on the bench. I'm going to warm up my hips here shortly. The goal of this meet in order to try to place as high as I can is just to milk out every ounce of strength I can. For squats, I think we did a pretty good job. I think I left about five, maybe 10 pounds in the tank. Uh, for bench, we're gonna do the same thing. And then I'm gonna see what I need to hit on deadlift in order to give myself the best possible opportunity to try to take home gold. So that's the goal right now. Stay tuned for the rest of the video and see how the rest of the day goes. take powerlifting seriously because if I were to ever fail at powerlifting like bomb out of the meat I'll just hit a split on stage and then like flash my ass or something and then go home take this shit seriously bro now we have our uh, resident dance party fan Jimmy not dancing for bench this time though what the judges say. Three words? Yes. yes.
I did, but I didn't. So the second one, I locked out, but I was also very afraid that there's some downward motion. I looked out on that, and one thing about me is that I'm very good at making last second switches, and uh, really when it comes to down, down to stuff like that. Hello. Good job, brother. Have a good night, man. Anyways, uh, <laughs> when it comes to shit like that, sumo is such a technical lift, and I get pissed off at myself because at the beginning, like, I trusted that I had it too much, and I lost. That's what I do! That's what he does. That's what I do! So anyways, this is the guy that I learned sumo from, and then these are all his friends. Uh, Sawyer is a big reason why I even A started doing sumo, but B tried to get as technical as I could before leading in this meet. He's one of the best sumo pullers in the world. Him, Nabil, Derek, Johnny, all those guys helped me immensely, so thank you so much, bro. He pulled 849 actually, just this morning at 220 body weight, and he's like only 17 years old. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate yeah, you so much. Thank you, bro. I'm a fan of watching. Likewise, you know, it's thank been, it's been, dude. It's funny because I, I seen you walking. I'm like, dude, you're just so fucking big. Like, I'm just seeing this fucking man walking. I was like, yeah, we need a little more like that in powerlifting. You Thanks, know? man. I appreciate that a lot. All right. So, anyways, you guys know that I pulled 800 on pound plates before. If you guys know, pound plates on a kabuki bar versus kilo plates on kabuki, kabuki bar, two very different things. The kilo plates are much thinner, so you're starting with a much lower height point before the bar comes off the ground and not to use that as an excuse but I expected to do a little bit less than 800 for sure but with that said I did expect my technique to hold up a little bit stronger at the beginning I did let myself down there as Jimmy House does I always pull out at the very end using my intuition of technical ability as well as my willingness to just not accept failure we made 716 happen the bench earlier with the butt coming off the bench, that kind of put me at a major deficit and realistically it was gonna be hard to come up all the way to first place. And I'd be lying to you guys if I thought for a second that it wasn't gonna be a struggle to get second place, especially after the first two attempts kind of went shitty in my opinion. The 672, first one completely missed. I'm in the back freaking out. I'm like, dude, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, I, that's what I've been practicing the whole time. Anyways, my point is, is that if failure is right in your fucking face, especially in situations like this, you guys gotta find a fucking way to get it done. I'm very, very proud of myself that I was able to do that tonight on a big stage in my first powerlifting meet in five years and my very first ever knee sleeve meet so raw meet I used to do classic raw which is knee wrap tonight did my first raw meet and I'm very happy with how I did placing at a very major meet like this uh, being a part-time hobbyist powerlifter is definitely something that I'm proud of and had things gone more in my favor I definitely would have gave first place a run very happy with it uh, we're gonna transition into pro wrestling now get some jujitsu competitions in I plan to do a bodybuilding competition early next year get my pro card back qualify for the natural Olympia and then on top of that maybe we get this one another one run in a year and uh see if i can't do a little bit better but you guys stay tuned we'll do the awards and then we'll close you guys out Oh, 
Yeah. It's just all the shrugging I, from you guys. Nobody from when, when I ever started shrugging when I was like five. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy was yeah. off the hook. Right. I don't off the hook. Uh, insane. Jimmy was like. I'm gonna go nine now. I got. I gotta show you the video. Please show me. You gotta show me the meme, bro. I showed you the video. What is going on YouTube? Jimmy House here. Welcome back to the House Strong YouTube channel. If you guys have tuned in, you saw quite the day of powerlifting, powerlifting, and within powerlifting, you saw some squats, some bench, some deadlift. Tommy got to participate in what's known as the Super Bowl of powerlifting in the American Pro. I had the opportunity to hang out with some of the most famous, strongest, talented, drug-tested, natty powerlifters in the country. Debo, Liam Newell, Nabil, Sawyer, all these guys have shared the same platform as me and I haven't done this in five years so it's an honor to be a part of this again shout out to Mike and Marie American Pro fighter quit in Las Vegas they gave me a huge opportunity by allowing me to be a part of this meet no honestly I didn't deserve to I didn't qualify for this meet you really just qualify based off of Instagram numbers and for that again thank you for the opportunity I'm glad that I was able to bring home a third place medal Three house <laughs> <laughs> Help me out with this one. Yeah. With that said, guys, if you guys like the video, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I don't plan to be doing a whole lot of powerlifting meets, but I'm very glad that I could get this one in. I transition into pro wrestling, jujitsu, maybe bodybuilding here in the near future. And maybe we'll do the American Pro again next year, but you guys will have to tune in to the channel to find out. Till next time, Jimmy House, out.